Long after the ink was dry on a divorce decree, a deceased man's ex-wife and his widow penned legal arguments over property ownership in Jones v. Shannon. Betty Shannon married Henry Jones. The couple acquired property that they owned as joint tenants with the right of survivorship. This meant that if one of them died, the other would automatically become the owner of the whole piece of property. Then the couple divorced. As part of their separation agreement, the property would remain in joint ownership until it could be sold in a commercially reasonable manner. Until the sale closed, Shannon had the exclusive right to possession of the home. Then the money from the sale would pay off any debts. Shannon and Henry would split any leftover money. Two years after the divorce, Henry deeded his interest in the property to Aretha Jones. He married Jones shortly thereafter. Over a decade later, Henry died without a will. In Jones's role as personal representative of Henry's estate, she petitioned the court to quiet the property's title, force the sale, and divide the proceeds. Shannon and Jones filed cross motions for summary judgment. According to Jones, the joint tenancy with survivorship rights was terminated either with the divorce or with Henry's deed to Jones. Jones argued that she owned the property with Shannon as tenants in common, so Jones had property rights. Shannon argued that the divorce didn't disturb the joint tenancy that she had with Henry. Regarding Henry's deed to Jones, Shannon claimed the deed was defective. So, because Shannon had survivorship rights when Henry died, Shannon automatically became the property's sole owner. The court found for Shannon. Jones appealed. The Alabama Supreme Court transferred the case to its docket. 